What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be going over 7 things that were cut from Bioshock. Number 7. There are some unused audio files found in Bioshock for Cal Franklin, the captain of Apollo Air Flight DF-0301 that Jack is on board at the start of the game. The audio files are actually just subtitles, but they suggest a different opening to the game, where the plane crashes due to a malfunction instead of being hijacked. The subtitles are as follows. When mom and dad put me on that plane to visit my cousins in England, they told me, Son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Your tray table, would you kindly- Ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain Cal Franklin. It seems we have a bit of a problem. We're losing altitude really fast. Looks like oversped number one and three. There's smoke coming out of the panel and... I got it. Pull up. Pull up. I got it. Pull up. Number six. Looking through the game files reveals that there would have been another machine in the game called the Research Machine. Instead of simply taking photos of enemies to gain information and stat boosts against them, you would have had to take the pictures to the research machine to develop the photos, which would cost you money. The research machine, like the other vending machines found in the game, would have been able to be hacked to reduce the cost of developing photos. Number 5. Early in Bioshock's development, the Little Sisters were not the ones who gathered and produced Adam in Rapture. The original idea was for the sea slugs that are now harvested from the Little Sisters to be the actual gatherers of Adam. You would encounter them and extract the Adam from them. The developers also considered using frogs, chipmunks, crabs, or even a crippled dog. The ideas were scrapped and the Little Sisters were introduced so that the player could feel empathy towards them, making the choice of whether to harvest them or save them all the more difficult. Number 4. In Bioshock the Collection, you can enter the Museum of Orphan Concepts, which is exactly what you'd expect it to be, a little museum where you can explore various things that didn't make it into Bioshock. One section of the museum was for aggressors. Early on in Bioshock's development, before the splicers were created, aggressors were the game's main enemy type. There were several types of aggressors, but they were all raptured dwellers who purposefully mutated themselves with Eevee in order to become stronger and more proficient with weapons as raptures started falling apart. The developers saw that they actually started looking creepier as they made them more human-like, instead of the muscle-bound monsters in the museum. So the developers abandoned the aggressors and created splicers, which they thought better fit in with the still-evolving theme of Rapture. Number 3. At some point during the development of Bioshock, it had a weapon called the Bioweapon, which resembles a bug sprayer. It worked with chemicals that would later be incorporated into the player's body as plasmids. The four chemicals were Insect Swarm, Berserk, likely an early version of Enrage, a plasmid that was some sort of repellent, and Disease Cloud. Number 2. Bioshock has a few cut gene tonics, with one of them being Organic Pockets. When equipped, it would allow the player to carry twice the amount of first aid kits and Eve hypos. It's unknown when it was removed or why, though it was likely removed because having twice the amount of first aid kits would make portions of the game too easy. Number 1. Bioshock was originally going to have a single ending instead of the two endings that the game had when it launched. In an interview with GameSpot, Ken Levine, the director of Bioshock, said the following, quote, One of the reasons I was opposed to multiple endings is I never want to do things that have multiple digital outcomes versus analog outcomes. I want to do things like the weapon system and the combat in Bioshock. There are a million different things you can do in combat. You can play it a million different ways. Looking into the future for the franchise, that's something I want to figure out that by the time you get to the ending of that choice path, you have a sense of impact on the world through lots of little permutations, rather than like a giant ending piece, if you follow my meaning. And I think we did a reasonably good job with the endings, but there are just two of them, and this is not a game about A and B. This is a game about one through one million, and all those permutations of choice. And as I think about the future of the franchise, that's where I want to take it." End quote. Alright, that's going to do it for this video about 7 things that were cut from Bioshock. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Follow me on Twitter at MittenSquad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.